Welcome to the Reality After Show, Season 46, Episode 3. But actually, I really don't care about the episode. You know why? Because legendary status, King George is in the house tonight, which I love. Johnny Fairplay, uh, Dan Macho, Wayne Mehmet. And Johnny, you have a lot of stuff coming up with you and King George. Drop some science on us, brother. Well, before we begin, like, like we always do about this time. Hold on. Did I miss the Sunnies memo? <laughs> a million hearts on three. A million hearts on three. <laughs> One, two, three. Yay. Okay. This is your destiny. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> it's how we start every podcast. You're giving me heartburn just thinking about it again. Were, were, were you not ready for the Stevie glasses? I'm not. I'm just going to drink some of this protein water I got using Valeria's you know, discount code. <laughs> I thought you were drinking a prime <laughs> energy drink like Logan Paul. <laughs> Press that smash button right now, folks. <laughs> or smash the like button. I did that completely wrong. Uh, yeah, he sounded like a 50-year-old saying that. <laughs> I, did, I, I had the balloons. I am 50. I know. All right. Uh, King George, uh, I don't know if you're aware of this, mm. but I... I I mean, I guess we should let the secret out. You're going to be in the United States starting Los Angeles, California. That's right. Jax's bar. Jax's Studio City. It's not just me. Lineup. It's not just King George. It is Dude, Jack that's... Taylor from Vanderpump Rules is joining us. We got Hurricane Kelly from Australian Survivor. Also from her, uh, from, from Australian Survivor. Uh, not, on the, not on the lineup yet, but he's there. Sam Webb is going to be there. Uh, mm -hmm. Lauren Ashley Beck from U.S. Survivor, Abby Maria, Sugar. We got Jags from, uh, or we got, uh, we got Jag, Jags. Jag being, uh, Jags Jag, my dude. Jag from, uh, from Big Brother, James Wallington from The Amazing Race, which premieres tonight, and The Challenge USA, and surprise guests that we can't see. They're on the season. And uh, so, yeah, so this is Los <laughs> Angeles, California in two weeks. Wednesday, March 27th. Get your tickets now. Go to SurvivorTix.com. Also, if you get a VIP table, go to events at Jax'sBar.com. The, the, uh, if you're looking at it right now, or I'll have it in the, uh, in the, uh, uh, in the notes. A uh, free, uh, free bucket of uh, Coors Light for all the, all the VIP yeah. tables. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we love, love Coors, Coors Light. Light. Oh, I, yeah. I love Coors Light. I have yeah. one right now. So yes, yeah, so thanks to the good folks at uh, at Coors Light. They are they're proudly sponsoring the VIP tables. That's events at jaxsbar.com. Get your VIP table. All the other tickets available at survivorticks.com. But wait, there's more. King George, you can't just do one party and get out of the US. No, I got to I got to strand you here for 7 weeks. Mm. Uh, <laughs> next, we will be in Durham, North Carolina. Boom! Wednesday, April 3rd, clouds brewing. It's me and King George hosting special guests. Oh, we are bringing it. Zane Knight, everyone's favorite first booth. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> He's not showing up. Yeah. He's going to be. No oh, oh, my God. I have, I'm no averaging 20, 20 text messages a day from Zane Knight. He is so excited. Uh, Jesse <laughs> Lopez. Put, that's, I'll put as many text messages as he sends about this party i'll put that many dollars that he doesn't show up like there's no way listen you want to do a hundred dollar bet right now <laughs> no dude, because you want, you'll uh, you'll dude, with him him. he'll be there for fifty dollars <laughs> <laughs> you know what i like about this lineup it's like who's the most desperate to play australian survivor again go <laughs> <laughs> Well, does Sorry, Jesse win? <laughs> I, I, have, win. I can't. I, have, I can't wait to meet Jesse. I I, I have Jesse by a lighter. <laughs> <laughs> we have Jesse Lopez. He's going to be there, and Nina Twine's going to be there. Uh, Survivor royalty by proxy. All right, she's she's the princess of, of of Survivor, right? Can we agree on that? Most definitely. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So she is royalty. Oh yeah, she she backs up her gameplay for sure. Oh, ask ask Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Visor Andy. 
Visor Andy. He learned <laughs> that, he learned Andy. the hard way. So that's uh, that's Durham, North Carolina, Wednesday, April third. Get your tickets at SurvivorTix.com. VIP and general admission available. VIP will sell out for all these first. Don't worry. Uh, next, we're not done, King George. I'm not letting you leave. Mm. I know, I know you love the United States, mm-hmm. but you're gonna love this one the most. That's right. Wednesday, April 10th, we're in Chicago, and this is the most special thing I've ever done in my entire life. It is limited to only 30 fans. We are halfway sold out right now. So if you want a ticket, get them right now. Uh, It's $100. That's right. We're going to be at the Randolph Tower in the Broadway district of Chicago. It is so beautiful there. So where we're doing this party, it's, it's a party room. And we can only hold 40 people, which includes our guest security and TVs and then the the limited 30 fans. So it is all VIP, free beer, free wine, free food and a one of a kind Johnny Fair play and King George Chicago T-shirt. Now, uh, I'm going to show you this in a second. When we go back to the big screen, I'm going to show you this. Post- so this is the poster that we're signing for all the VIP. We have, we have these stars and stripes. It, it's ridiculously obnoxious. You guys are going to love it. George already wants the tattoo. But <laughs> we're doing a Chicago exclusive T-shirt just for the fans there. You guys will also get this sign poster as well. It is a, it is. Austin is losing his. So uh, we have, we have joining us Austin from last season, Xander, Jessica Milagros from big brother, uh, Sarah Wilson and more. It is going to be insane. It, it will go down as probably my favorite survivor viewing party of all time. And it's on, it's on like a rooftop deal. Like, a, like so the apartment that we're staying at is the 40th floor, but there's this, this is a, a lower rooftop. And there's a hot tub. Bring yes. your swimsuits. <laughs> King George and I are bringing our speedos. I'm bringing my bungee smugglers. <laughs> bungee smugglers are going to be in the house. This is going to be the coolest party in the history of Survivor Party. Parties. Ways to say things. Bungee smugglers. Ooh, bungee it's smugglers. So, fun. <laughs> so go to Survivor Ticks right now. If you're in Chicago, this will be the greatest viewing party in the history of viewing parties that is wednesday april 10th go to SurvivorTix.com. but wait there's more who where are they there's so many <laughs> um next is where are we next uh then we'll be in charlottesville virginia april 24th that's right uh that is at three notch brewing it's me and king george i think reem is joining us for this one mm. Reem Daly. Yeah, that that's, a good, that's a good get. Reem Daly. And let's just say, Johnny, real quick. Yeah. So Reem was kind of like, eh, on Survivor. We had our opinions. But when we met her at Hearts of Reality, Reem was fucking awesome. We were poolside. Yeah, yeah. We got to meet her, talk to her. And Reem is badass. Like, she yeah. was super fucking cool. Possibly smoked more weed than both of us. Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> No shit. <laughs> so that's at Three Notch Brewery in Charlottesville, Virginia. Get your tickets right now. That's Wednesday, April 24th. Uh, posters coming out tomorrow, uh, Wednesday, April 20, uh, April 17th. We will be in Cincinnati. And Wayne Memon will be there. Matt Bischoff will be there. And where are we going to be at, Wayne? Northern Row Brewery, right in the heart of downtown Cincinnati. It's an old historic brewery. They make their own spirits. They'll have Johnny oh, Fairplay God. and King George inspired cocktails, full beer, parking right next to it. There's a bunch of paid parking lots that are right next to it. Easy to find. Food truck on site. Awesome place to be. So Northern Row Brewery, April 17th. VIP will sell out. Always yeah. does. It, it does. Uh, uh, so they are doing a Johnny Fairplay Old Fashioned and a King George yep. vodka drink. Oh, thank God. Was, you know me too well, Fairplay. I do. Yeah, I just, yeah, yeah. King George, I got your back. You're, you're, wear, you're wearing me on your shirt. I mean, I, when, am, when I know. I'm, I'm just I'm getting comfortable <laughs> on the floor, but I do uh, like this shirt. <laughs> Thank you. I, I make the soft ones. So, uh, so yeah. So that so April seventeenth, Cincinnati tickets will be available tomorrow. Uh, tickets available right now for Charlottesville, April twenty fourth, and finally, uh, let's see. Percent. So King George, you'll be staying at my house, dude. 
April seventeenth. <laughs> Bring Gold. on the legends. Yeah, I, I, Thank so you. many awesome. Sandra Diaz Twine has stayed here. Jax Taylor has stayed here. I'm going to add uh, King George to the list of uh, epic Survivor players that have been in my. He, in my wait, wait, Matt what? steals Matt steals clippings of your pubic hair from the showers after you get done. <laughs> well, he has a try and of sadly, all of their. Sadly yes, for you, Wayne, in the bag. I get I get laser. And fun fact, oh. Ferris, Ferris goes to the same laser clinic that I do. Yeah, Fer Ferris lasered his beard. Well, oh, I lasered so my beard. Perfect. Thank you for noticing, Johnny. <laughs> I would love to laser my taint. George my asshole. Put that on a t-shirt. Put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Perfect transition. We're going to be a protagonist uh, brewing <laughs> protagonist beer in Charlotte, North Carolina on Wednesday, May 1st. That's right. It's me and King George. Surprise guest. She's on this season. Uh, <laughs> get ready. Wednesday, May 1st. Get your tickets now. Protagonist beer in Charlotte. Go to SurvivorTix.com. As for all these, VIP sells out first. I cannot stress it enough. You get your autographed. You know what? Here. Okay. You guys see that? Here, boom. Let's see. You get an autographed King George. <laughs> How obnoxious is this supposed to be? No, no, I love that. That's fantastic. But uh, can, it's, we, it's, call, it's, it's, can yeah. we call it a royal tour, or is that a bad word now that Kate Middleton's been missing for three months? <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't <laughs> Who's Kate Middleton? <laughs> we have no <laughs> stupid. I have no idea you know, who that is. You know what worried me? If 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 our king dies from cancer in the next year or so and William goes to jail or something, that means that little nine-year-old George will be King George. And then, you know, there can, oh. there can only be one King George. Well, that, 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 you have to assassinate a child. That's a shame. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I would love to see the copyright lawsuit. <laughs> So, uh, so yeah, so so King George, uh, everyone can catch us at SurvivorTix.com. That's SurvivorTix.com. We're talking U.S. Survivor, and mm. uh, and when we're done with this, we are recording. We're not going. We're not going to go live, but uh, we're recording this week's Australian Survivor. Don't worry, it'll be up tomorrow morning. We have Eden as our guest. King George is joining us for that for episodes. Uh, 112 through uh, <laughs> whatever, whatever we're up to on Australian Survivor. But uh, um, King George, we're talking U.S. Survivor. What are you thinking of the new era? Of the new era more broadly or of 46? Uh, I'd like I'll to hear just new era. New, new I, era I would like to start with new era, King George. <laughs> I, I think it's made for an American audience. I think that's the main thing. Um, I think that kind of like key judgment call gets made and then that's what gets reflected in the show. Um, there's been probably good and bad. I mean, I really enjoyed 45. Um, I thought 45 was a great season. Um, you know, the one I, I liked the least was 43, but maybe because I just got back from Samoa while that was airing, it was like harder for me to watch. Um, Is it, wasn't that Jesse's season? It was, yeah. Oh I, wow! I, I call it the worst <laughs> and, and season alive. Been, and you've been to Gabler's house. Gabler's a fantastic winner. Yeah, I like I think Gabler's the kind of person that plays multiple times and is like likely to go deep every time. Um, but like I can't remember. Yeah, he's the Alley Gabler. Yeah, like I can't I I can't tell you like at least fifteen of the other cast members. Like that's what made it a poor season. Oh, it good. was a very weak cast. But it is what it is. Um, that's how I look at it. Yeah. Okay. It's hot. Yeah. So season forty-six, more specifically, what are we thinking so far? <laughs> um, it, I'm I'm glad it's still going. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I, I, yeah. I, uh, as they say in Latin, uh, King George, "cum tacet clamat," silent they speak. Yeah. I I I'm I'm glad it's going. Okay. All right. Wonderful. I right, can't well, wait. To, I can't wait to meet the passionate American fans at our Royal tour. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. All right. C can we go back in time a little bit? Cause we got the previously on. All right. I I'm looking at the social media. Cause I, I, I I'm a, I'm a cool 50 year old. I turned 50 on, mm. on Monday. And, sure. uh, and, and, you know, I, 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 I'm not really big on the TikToks. 
So and neither is the House of Representatives here in the United States. I was about to say before it gets banned. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm not a big TikTok guy, but but I do follow the, the the rest of the social media. It is not bullying Jess by giving her a fake idol, and it is not bullying Jess by yelling at someone during a challenge if they're not performing well. If I don't want to be on a tribe with someone that's just like, oh, if just don't worry about trying, guys. They said it was bullying because she fell for that idol. I don't follow any survivor social media at all. I follow survivors on social media, but I don't follow anything about survivor oh, on yeah. social she media. She was bullied. I, yeah, I never take the bait from social media and like respond to stuff that's stupid. Now, this one, it, it triggered me. I responded like, how is she being bullied? How many other like if she's being bullied, what did like Parvati and Sari do to Eric in fans versus favorites? Yeah. It's a form of it's bullying, called, but no, but it, they're fan favorites, so it's okay. But this new stuff, no, it's, it's bullying. It's called outwit and outplay. Yeah. Like it is in. Well, it the used to be rest- called that. I don't even know if they stress that anymore. <laughs> but, mm. <laughs> but no, it is outwit, outplay, outlast. That's the rules of the game. We have three rules: outwit, outplay, outlast. Yep. George, is you that bullying? Anything. Giving someone oh, no. a fake idol? I. I have a different kind of like interpretation of it as a whole. Um, people like villains when they're fun. You're fun, Johnny. I'm I'm fun. You know, <laughs> some of the most legendary villains, they're, they're fun to watch. When I watched episode two last week, as I was watching it, was I going, this is an exciting, enjoyable moment. It was like she died a day ago and they were just kind of stabbing the corpse again and again and again and again and again. <laughs> Like, th- that was kind of like what I got out of it. And I was like, she's already dead, bro. Like, is there is there any purpose to what you're doing? Yeah, they're scared of the shot in the dark. Stop being fucking scared. Like, that's well, what's... If, if you want to well, know... How, how about with, stop having the shot in the dark? Yeah, yeah right. No, not, not necessarily, yeah. but it's like the, the problem with the new era of US Survivor, and it's got absolutely nothing to do with Jeff Probst um, and his production-related decisions like shot in the dark... It's the cast that play like they're scared of their shadows. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, oh, she might play the shot in the dark. If this and if that, you know, it's just like if, oh, and if this happened and I've got to do as little as possible, you know, or come up with a harebrained scheme that's not entertaining and serves no purpose. Would you ever play a shot in the dark? Would I ever play it? I, I mean, I, I was thinking they might have it in, in Heroes v. Villains. Um, I, I like having it there. Um, I, only once was I ever in that position. It was that time Kara saved me. But, like, going to that tribal council, I accepted my destiny. That's that's the time to play in, um, you know. But, but you like, would. I, I would, yeah. If, 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 you, if, if there was if, ever that if, time, if, if, if you've lost if you, the numbers, if, if you've lost all control and there's nothing left to do and you don't have an idol, it's okay. a it's a hit in your hope button. But it's just like, you know, it, it, it's like, oh, we can't do this because someone has a shot in the dark. Like, it's like, that's just, that's just scaredy cat gameplay. You, you, you are, you are a numbers guy when it comes to Survivor. So that was the only time in the history you've ever played Survivor. And, and you, for those of you that don't know, George, George has played twice, two, two of the most magnificent games ever in the history of Survivor. But there's only been one time you felt your back was against the wall, and at that moment you would have played that? Um, that time that Kara saved yeah. me? Uh, definitely, yeah. Because, like, Way was gone. She left for no reason. Yeah. Only to be, like, treated as dirt the next day by the people, you know? Um, but it, 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 it's just like, you know, that's the only time. Okay. Like there was no, there was no escape hatch. It was me, Kara, Baden, dead, finished, nothing to pitch. We tried, you know, that's when a shot in the dark can work. You know, there's no way to save anyone with an idol because the other one goes home. Like I, I, that's why Jeff Probst invented the shot in the dark because it can bring an exciting TV moment from something like that. Um, but we haven't seen it played like at all in that circumstance. And the one time it got played effectively with Caleb, uh, it's just like my reaction. That episode was what one person couldn't put one vote somewhere else. It's like (laughs) in in a, in a season, like 
when 95 percent of the people are game bots and you've got 12 or 13 people voting in the one direction it's like maybe just one vote just in case he plays the shot in the dark and he's very lucky and he pulls out the right scroll you know mm-hmm. yeah and then they're like no we <laughs> So. I just feel there's a lot of uh, crybabies on American Survivor. Um, a lot of That's super fans. Thing. Oh, sorry. Like, fuck me. The crying I saw, and sorry if I shouldn't swear, but like, no, no you, you should swear. swear. It's, it's, it's day two. And, oh, I miss home. And oh, this. It's like, give me a fucking break. Well, no, they, 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 get, they get a hoodie. They, they, last week, they, they were wearing hoodie, uh, hoodie sweatshirts and crying. There you should know. not be. I mean, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just like I, I was. I was like, I would have killed Rupert four times for a hoodie sweatshirt. Fuck yeah! <laughs> and, and I would have cried because I, I was like, where do I hide the body? That's just <laughs> too much, though. That's like, oh, they're crying over this and they're crying over that. It's like, trust me, I don't think many people are entertained by crying. Like, no. I, I understand an American audience no. have different kind of like factors that influence the kind of broader storytelling of the show um and like cbs and u.s production get it spot on for exactly what their audience want and need but it's like the people with the just you know random crying it's like like seriously like you know and the only time i want crying is on the is family pinball. visit yeah, no, correct. The family, is pinball. there a family pinball visit? And, and, the fam- pinball and the family visit. Yeah, it's just this <laughs> crying shit and, and these casting of like survivor nerds that are fans, but they, they don't know how to play the game like Banu. Great guy. I'm sure he's like cool if we met him. I like I like the casting. I, I got no problem with the casting of Banu for the record. I so. think he's incredible casting. No, no, yeah. he um like like when when I just watch that now, and you know, one of the first times I've nearly ever watched a US episode live. Thank you. But um, <laughs> Ooh, how did that happen? <laughs> um, I I'm a member of Paramount Plus. Um, oh, congrats! And apparently, I was in New York, so thank you. Um, but like, <laughs> wow, you're already in the US. Come on by tomorrow. I'm around. <laughs> this is definitely not my my living room, but uh. <laughs> I had it. I had transported back in no time, but um, <laughs> uh, I, I think Banu's that category of like eccentric casting. Um, yeah, the only yeah. thing that I don't didn't like about Banu's storytelling is they felt the need to copy paste Nasir's story and to say that again. Like yeah. that is the bit about Banu that I found boring. But he's um, he's incredible casting. You want that kind of like random emotional chaos that's not just like you know. Game oh, bot, I mean, yeah, game bot, yeah. It's like, mm-hmm. but like, yeah. You know, there's a lot of game bots on this season, a lot, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, well, and trust me, I don't remember any of their names. But yeah, Banu, well, he's like the first one I can ruffle off. That that we'll, is true. I agree. We'll, we'll get there. Well, Banu knows the rest of the tribe has master tricks, and I'm like, mm, all right. <laughs> but they do teach him if you can't lie at tribal, just shut up. <laughs> yeah. Um. So. It's uh, it's 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 interesting with Barney. Like he's he clearly clearly is very emotional. All right, Dan, um, what do you what, 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 it's what, entertaining what, at the same time? What's your take on Barney, Dan? Uh, I do agree that he's good casting, but as we were talking episode one and episode two, like episode one, everyone was higher on him because he's just happy to be out there. He's so eccentric. But by the, but I called it out then, and we've seen it in episode two and three that the way that he's acting, it's just going to be draining on people, especially his tribe mates and the audience. And I feel like that's what we've seen tenfold over these past two episodes is I I want him to be excited and play, but it's just too over the top. I feel like I'm okay with drain. I would rather have draining than watching. Yeah. I honestly watching, watching you tell me that you have a 3d printer at home. Oh, either that, or let's have a 10 minute segment on, like Taylor Swift and Metallica. <laughs> like I, I would rather. Yeah, I would rather have, fight. No, 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 no. I'm not. You love Metallica, was, though. I'm sorry. I, I do. I do love Metallica. But as George was saying, we talked about this last week. That should have been an extended scene, George. It, that should that be should a secret scene on CBS.com. That should not have been on television. That that was the most. The only thing more boring in Worldwide Survivor that I've ever seen was the 35 minutes of UK Survivor reading out their letters word for word because I was hung over in a hotel room. Jackie and I just won a poker tournament. We probably had like 400 tequila shots between us and some of our friends there. 
And then I just like fall asleep going, Leilani, my mother is a woman. She lives in a pub. And it just went for 35 minutes. But like that <laughs> segment was like just as boring. So it's like if we have Banu being random and cuckoo and entertaining and, you know. Well, he's is, a wackadoodle. Is, is, is this how you should play Survivor? Yeah, most definitely not. But am I highly entertained by him? Absolutely. You know? Yeah. I'm I'm all for a wackadoodle. Uh, yeah. So don't worry. Uh, if if you guys if you guys were concerned about about Banu at Tribal Council going forward, he is now an actor. And <laughs> and 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 as I as I heard this statement, I was just like, I thought we were done casting actors, and that's why <laughs> Lynn Spillman isn't giving us the greatness that we had before. But then, on another another t- point, uh, <laughs> Banu doesn't have any plans, but he wants to play. Uh, nope. I need, I need, I need a plan from you if I'm going to work with you, but don't worry. Kenzie is a mermaid slash dragon and the opportunity is, well, no, it's not there whatsoever because he doesn't want to play. <laughs> he doesn't have a plan. <laughs> what do we think of Dan, Kenzie? Have you met, Dan, have you met Kenzie yet? Not yet. Uh, apparently I'm going to next week. Yes. You better. Yeah. All right, Wayne, what, 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 what's your thoughts on Kenzie and Banu? Uh, I like Kenzie a lot. Uh, without Brandon going out, it would have exposed my biggest complaint with three tribes of six in that, like, dude, going down to four votes, and it's like, oh, cool. You and I want to work together. This guy's a goat. See you, this other really awesome strategic player that I would like to see play, but it's just kind of shit out of luck like sucks and it's and it's the third episode like i want that moment when it's for all the marbles when it's like the third to last episode of the season i don't want to start you know like seeing these good players that i really like go out just because there's no one else to vote out this early on I have a very different take, Wayne. I actually think the small tribe dynamic brings out much more complex gameplay um and it's much more difficult um, to play in a small tribe, much more difficult because on a tribe of 12, um, more often than not, you get a herd mentality and it took someone like me to break the mold in Australian Survivor to, to stop that. Like on my first season, season seven is like an aberration that people just skip over. And, and then like you look at how Australian Survivor started on season nine, Titans v Rebels, where they were using a different kind of like assessment criteria on what worked for them. And, you know, people started playing on day one on a really long game, but in a, in a short game like this, 26 days only um, with three tribes of six, uh, the vote should be complex and interesting every single time. But like what, what we don't see, and then this goes back to like the game bot style players. um, You, 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 like if someone's so scared of their shadow, are they going to try and do like a three, two, one or a two, two, two and pressure someone with rocks or, you know, oh, this person might've lost their vote by breathing. So I better just do the most simple thing possible. Like that, yeah. that's not Jeff Probst's fault. Um, I actually think Jeff Probst is no. on a winner with a small tribe dynamic. It's just, it, it, it's like, it's not production's fault sometimes when it doesn't unfold, you know, on a storyboard when they have, 10 ideas on how they happen and one of them's the boring option and you go right there's a 10 percent chance of the boring option happening but unfortunately in reality it's an 80 percent chance of happening because you've got you know 3d printer game bot on the tribe and it's not just one of them it's five of them wow that's that's fascinating. <laughs> wow! To hear, to hear your perspective talk out of the, 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 the his, his three drive hatred. Yeah, I don't yeah. do many US Survivor podcasts, and you know, lucky we've got our tour on Fair Play. <laughs> well, well, here's the deal with, with so, you. So I've I mean, you over so many times. Like when I, if if we have seven people on a tribe, and I want to vote someone out, it's simple, four to three. That's the math, and and. The amazing thing about you, and, and and I brag to anyone that'll listen, like if George wants to send, if there's seven people, George wants to send you home, the vote is easily two, one, one, two, one, two. I mean, like, <laughs> like yeah, three, two, two, because that's what happened to Fraser. But like, <laughs> there's, there's, there's with a small 
tribe dynamic, you can do things like that. With a tribe of 12 or 13 or 14, it is very hard to have a complex vote. Like you are, you are looking at larger voting blocks of people sticking together for whatever reason works for them at that moment in time. But what, what if we start with 16 people, eight versus eight? That is, that's the sweet spot. That's the sweet spot. Yeah. That's why Pearl Islands I'd, is considered one of the greatest yeah. seasons. I, I would honestly, I would say that's a sweet spot. Um, I, I think 12, 12 and 12 is hard, but I know why Australian Survivor don't have, you know, three tribes at eight because they don't have a US Survivor budget. That's the only reason. Mm-hmm. It's not because people think, you know, two large tribes are better. You mm-hmm. need a whole extra set of camera crew and that, that money doesn't extend over like it does on Jeff Probst's large budget that can't afford an but auction. They, well, they, 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 right. they, 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 they the only large thing is Jeff Probst's we, we can't do an auction, so there's not that much money. Because <laughs> there's accounting involved, George. You don't understand. Like a, a, a 12 Fiji dollar burger. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Jeff said the reason we don't have the auction is. You have to have the people get the food. That's fine. But then when you have the money, then you have to bring in accounting. Give them Monopoly money. It's That's a what I show. I'm like, I'm like, if you make Survivor Bucks, do you know how much I'm selling? I, I'm not I'm not bidding on anything and I'm selling them on eBay. Oh yeah. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> you know Only much, you would come up with that plan, Johnny. Do you know how much 100 Survivor Bucks is worth on eBay? A lot more 100, than $100 for a cheeseburger. I promise you. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm not selling any of them. So, no, it doesn't. So, but then I guess that involves the art department. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? So, well, uh, uh, well, then I, just, just to go back, I'd like to see them do tribe swaps sooner with three tribes even if they swap them into th- three new tribes again who cares i think i've always wondered why new era doesn't you know go into like just you, you basically have a partial merge where they go down to two tribes three to two yeah the, yeah like we we wait for the fake merge which has happened every season and you know it is what it is with that fake merge um but i i'd actually rather go to like two tribes of seven at episode five yeah and then yeah. You agree can, you can play that down right to the emerged and you're the first member of the jury yeah mm-hmm. so all right uh q wants banu to be as philip shepherd wow uh <laughs> <Tara> Mellon <laughs> reference and, and rob boston rob reference yeah i don't know about this was yeah. was not expecting that call out tonight <laughs> i was not either but i, I will tell you i like q like uh, he's a, he's a, a very interesting. Explain player. why. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, yeah. I, I, yeah, uh, yeah, I don't. Okay, I'm squarely Matt, on Matt, the goal. What is it? Quickly, three words. Go. Uh, just different, uh, fresh, uh, and uh, empathetic. I would have gone. He's hot. He's muscly. He looks incredible on camera, but he's sleep-inducing almost. <laughs> Well, I will tell you, I, I get where you're coming from with that. However, with the three tribes, it's hard to see a lot of uh, character development. And but they've got least... all the air time. Bullshit. So... Bullshit. No, no way. You can't you can't see character development because Q's a game bot. <laughs> He's just a hot muscly one. He is, but yeah, I'll he... take a hot muscly one over over a fucking nerd any day. As True. as soon as he I as soon that. as he pulls the martyr card for not being able to throw the sandbags and he threw it that hard and that was oh, God, probably a little edited. But I mean, I, I, once he did that, I was like, "What? You're willing to tell these people to kick you out of the game when you yeah, are in the power was... position in your tribe?" Because okay, you... that's well, I agree well, with the storytelling, but like, come on, these kindergarten challenges that they have <laughs> that are made to oh, be as yeah. easy as possible, and they've got to throw. One, like, probably, uh, like, uh, it's. do you know when it's hard with a sandbag? When there's basically nothing in it. And it just moves and yeah. it lands. This is, that looked like a head, like a two, three no. kilo bag max. You know, not, yes. not even. Like, yeah. and what were they throwing it on? Like, it's Plates. right in front of you. What, yeah. what yeah. was yeah. the difficulty the, the, there? Charlie could almost reach up and just, like, put it on the first one. 
Yeah, no, this is well. <laughs> the, I don't know if you've been paying attention, guys, but in the new era, they've had they've had trouble with challenges. So <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like we're dumbing it down a little bit. <laughs> Climbing uh, a ladder well, is hard for some people, Johnny. Oh, All right. Dear. Yeah, ladders are hard. Well, Banu's oh, a wackadoodle, and yeah, I'm just like, sorry. I love Banu calling himself a wackadoodle. Yeah, uh, but I'll don't tell worry. you, Hunt, Hunter clearly is the only one that like thinks about challenges because it was very fun to see him just be like, "I'm holding on for the ride and just like flip on over that log." That was uh, that was fun. That was great. So, uh, yeah. So uh, it's a group idol hunt. Um, mm. There's sus, uh, but don't worry. Jim finds the idol, but don't don't think you know Jim's name by looking at the lower third because I didn't see anyone's lower third this entire episode. Wow. I think, think there was a problem in editing. They forgot their lower thirds. Neither did I, and that's a problem because I could not remember her name for the life of me. Well, I, I had girl written down uh, in, in my notes Jen? for, for, for 20 minutes, and then I went back. Gem. 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 Yes. I had Gem. to go back and fill that in because uh, the right. lower third was I, – I think there was an editing problem on this episode. I think the episode that aired will not be the episode that we see on Paramount Plus in the future. Mm-hmm. Ah, got it, got it. Yeah. Well, that just shows how much the green tribe sucks because their most interesting moment this entire tribal was the Taylor Swift versus Metallica off, which wasn't oh, needed. God, Should have been was, an extra scene. Was, oh god. Oh god. yeah, it was terrible. Like, that like, tribe's right, terrible. You know, when when I watched that on a rival team TV network streaming service here in Australia, like I was close <laughs> to going, I'm just going to turn it off. Like seriously. Yeah, like, there's no gameplay involved in that. It was that unnecessary. Was horrific. Like, maybe give it 10 seconds. Like, mm-hmm. we just had this moment. Ha, ha, ha. We've got a bond. So, and it just well, kept going. But well, like, next we see... Next we <laughs> go, see go fair play, yeah. Next we see Hunter making a bed for himself. All right, so... This is a bold move. Yeah, Do you guys have a problem with a guy making a bed for himself? As long as he's yes. making beds for everyone else. I'm cool Correct. with that. No. No, you make one bed. Oh, make okay. your own bed, uh, idiot. <laughs> no, you this can is share a my bed. This is definitely a, a strange tactical decision for three D printer man. Yeah, <laughs> would you have you, George? You, you would. George's confessionals on watching Hunter make a bed for himself are not going to be friendly. N- no, nah. most definitely not. <laughs> like you, you, you know, it, it's like. Uh, 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 that reminded me of Emmett who would not sleep next to anyone at night. He'd have his own little fire thing. Like when we merge and oh. it, it's all everyone talked about. Why doesn't this dickhead sleep with the rest of us? Are we not good enough for him? You know, oh, I want to get a good night's sleep. It's like, fuck off. You know, yes. like if, if he's sleeping on his own bed and you know, and he doesn't make like, just make a bigger one. You know, it, it's just like, no, that's a problem. Yeah. I, I feel like he's going to, I don't know anything. I've definitely not spoiled for like American survivor, but like, well, I, don't I don't think anyone like is this, this, this guy's, this guy's not going deep. Yeah. This well, guy's like, this guy's going very soon. Okay. Well, a lot of people feel, a lot of people feel he's just there for the adventure. Here's, here's the thing with me. Other than the puzzles and, and it's, he's not 3d printing puzzles. He's actually building puzzles. So I'm going to, I'm going to give credit there. Well, correct. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Okay. He's not Carson. Okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm casting at least six hunters on a future season. Of, like I would rather have, I'd rather have hunters than a three B 3d puzzle printer. Oh, 110%. Yeah. yeah of yeah. the options. Oh yeah. He's good, awesome. good looking. Good looking. A good looking guy. Yeah. He's good looking. He can swim. Oh my god, Tevin can't swim. Did we catch that tonight? Tevin can't swim. Who was that? Yeah. Who was that Tevin? Yes. Yeah. Oh my god. I just wish I could do a challenge against Americans. Like I'd be like a challenge <laughs> <I know>. <laughs> <laughs> you, you would. Oh my god. On the new it's era, like, you would. Is this the oh, story oh, from reality if you're playing? But, but Matt, we, we, we were in we were in Australia and, and I, I go out so the waves in Australia are like real waves. They're not like pretend US waves and they're not mm. Samoa waves, they're not Pearl Islands waves, they're not they are real waves in Australia. So yes. George, they George were like, not that bad. <laughs> like oh, if I shit. went there without a lifeguard and I'm a horrible swimmer, like you were worried, but it didn't stop you. <laughs> because they weren't that bad. Oh like, my god, George, George is like I'm, he's like, play, come out, it's fine." I mean, he goes, "This should be a lifeguard, but it's okay." And I'm just like, 
there's a lifeguard on half the size of these waves in the U.S. And I was a lifeguard. <laughs> I, and I'm just like, no, like I'm not dying in Australia. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame. I remember that's a pretty I good did, place to die. You know, in Orlando, at, 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 at Hearts of Reality, I had this little swimming race against Mike Turner. He's like, man, you suck at challenges. I'm like, all right, fuck it, let's have a swim off. And this is still when my shoulder was still pretty like fresh and injured. And then I actually beat him, and I turned I'm to sure. him. I'm like, I'm like, what were you like, challenge wise? He's like, oh, I was, I would say I was probably top five, and I was like. Fuck me, you were top five. You know, yeah. like how wow. bad was everyone else? <laughs> new era, new era. It's a, it's a, it's a different Dude. beast. You know, on, on Australian Survivor this week, they stood on spikes. That was their challenge. They just stood on spikes yes. forever. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, typically, a six-hour challenge. The the dirty hat, the dirty hairy challenge, as we like to call it. So, Matt, you no spoilers, but uh, we got the dirty hairy challenge this week. Ooh. Dude, one gnarly. of my favorites. So, and yeah. our good friend Mock, uh, get the hat. Uh, follow Mark on uh, Instagram. Uh, my, my good friend Mark goes, Let's speed it up. Let's go to the hard spikes now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, smart man. All right. Uh, so, yeah. So, um, so we, we learned that Hunter left the opportunity to be a met, uh, to go to medical school, to be a teacher. So, Bad move. We also he's learned that he that he's stupid. Oh. <laughs> and I, can I just say this is very dynamic storytelling. I found it all very interesting. I liked it. Yeah, yeah. he's very good casting. He is incredible casting. As I said, I, I I cast six of them on the on the, on the next season. Yeah, six hundred percent. No yeah. problem. I have zero not with the same percent. exact story, of course. Yeah, but but no three no D printers. But like having that, he like you you got to think they they try to like they try and find people to put into kind of like character archetypes yeah. and then he ticks a southern character archetype and to to have that kind of like human connection where he's incredibly telegenic good looking hot muscly abs but has this whole doctor then became a teacher in mississippi or wherever he's from i'm like that that is good storytelling but we've got it now we don't need to hear it again every episode no, now yeah, it needs exactly. to be like yeah <laughs> So it's just like we've got it. We've been introduced to him as a character. I like audience is engrossed and interested. Now what's next? You know, well, Venus, now it becomes about the game. Well, Venus sees through Hunter. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't. I don't. I don't know what she sees through. Uh, I, I was just like, we just got a good story, Venus. What do you? What do you see through? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think I would like Venus very much in normal everyday life. I, I'm not sure what I feel about her on this show. Uh, I think she might be the closest thing to like a villain that we might get on this season. Um, but I, I don't think I, like I would her. like her. Yeah, I know. I know. Venus is my winner pick. <laughs> Do you know what, Matt? She's actually my winner pick right now as well. Yes. Oh, God. Yeah. I'm to, I, all the rest of the week, I'm going to tell my friends that <laughs> King George's winner pick is the same God, as mine. I was about to say that. I was going to be like, I actually think she's going to win. Yeah, I, that, that's I, my I'd, have, I'd have trouble pick. voting her out. <laughs> she's a hot chick who looks physically competent, and yes. I think she's going to thrive when she gets off that tribe. I do if too. If she gets off the tribe, she's she's in the final week of the show. Mm -hmm. I wow. agree. Dan, Dan wants her there. <laughs> Of course, I think her and Kenzie find their way out to ride together. Mm, would, that would be per Kenzie's my winner pick. That would be perfect. All right, uh, Random has a limp on his right side. I don't know what his name is because they didn't have it in the lower third. He Brandon. Brandon. I no, it's, 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 Randon. it's Randon. It's Randon. With an Randon. Yeah. It, it's Random. I have it written here. It's Random. <laughs> <Randon>. <laughs> <laughs> Who's more right? Oh, fair play. <laughs> hey, tell, tell me three things about random. <laughs> well, I, I tell you what. His left line, his left side went limp. Venus likes him. Hurts. And he wears green. Okay. Other than that, what else do you have about random? Nothing. Absolutely. Okay. Beware advantage. I, That's it. Yeah. <laughs> which, beware, okay. Which oh, fuck yeah. You got the beware advantage. And he, and he leaves within his pocket in, in his olive green pocket. That was, was one of the three fun facts about Randy. That was one of the things I was going to say about, that I knew about him. It's olive green. That's what yeah. I was going to say. <laughs> well, his name is Random and we'll RIP Random. 
<laughs> no, uh, it sucks. I, I do feel bad for getting like removed medically for something, especially something where they literally say it's like it could be nothing, it could be something, and it's like you, has you don't he, really has know. Been, what happened to him? Is it too early to know? Has he had his well, like, article that, that, come up yet? Or and that's why you're here, King George. There's one thing that we've seen on Australian Survivor that I think has proven to be one of the, the, the coolest advents in the in, in the game. And it is a 24-hour evaluation to find out something like this versus getting rid of random. Yeah. You found yourself on a 20 on, on a 20 whatever hour leave where you came back crying in a confessional. Hmm. I think that that like I, I I feel when when Jeff said your MRI is tomorrow morning, yeah. like I was just thinking like I know why I got my MRI at three a.m. in the morning when I was in a neck brace. Jackie's been carted off, you know, told her scapula separated from her spine. Um, like uh, it, it, it's just like that. Twenty four hour rule happens in the most significant like. Periods. It's not all oh, my neck hurts. So you're on a 24 hour right rule, now. You know, it, it was like Georgia had an ectopic pregnancy. Like for a whole week, they couldn't work out what her severe pain was. And it's a two bedroom that was the hospital in Cloncurry. So it's just like that's what happened to her. <clears throat> and then with me, um, they thought my neck was broken. Like then when I'm in the hospital, when Jackie and I both got diagnosed by the Samoan doctor who did the best that they could do in the only hospital in Apia, basically, um, like all the Samoan doctor thought my neck was fractured. So then, you know, the fixers got the health minister involved that I'd get my MRI at 3 a.m. And then it's my decision to go back in the game. Um, I, I, I really feel for him, particularly if there was nothing wrong. Or when I, when I say nothing wrong, if it was that like muscle related injury, like right. I, I I played forty six days with a torn shoulder. You can you can grit your teeth, not cry, yeah. talk about your auntie had cancer twenty five years ago, and I'm doing it for her. Like you can you can keep pushing through, you know. So it's like I I think it's hard with him. If he did have a bulging disc, then of you know. Like that's uh, a, a decision, obviously the the medics made at US production. But if it wasn't, then I just feel like is he coming back like Bruce did? If it was like we pulled the trigger, I don't need that again. Like, I, I, I like I, I think I, I loved Bruce d- coming. Yeah. Bruce coming back as being a weirdo was fucking great TV. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, <laughs> but I don't need random coming back. I don't need random coming back. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just feel for him because it's like what would he have missed if like. <laughs> he's like, oh, no, I just want to do my MRI whenever it is in the morning. At most, he would have missed a, a boat trip to an immunity challenge. Yeah. Maximum the immunity challenge. And then you can tell quite quickly on an MRI, um, you know, I'm sure they would have had a doctor in the right. U.S. waiting to look at a scan and be like, right, it's a he's bulging good. disc, it's fucked out. Or he's got a twinge muscle, it's up to him, you know? Yeah. Well, we learn on scenes from the next episode. I don't know if you cut out short, uh, George, but oh, I did cut Rand, out short. Yeah, sorry. Rand, yeah. Randon comes comes on the television screen and says, "Hey, I got my MRI. Everything ended up being good. I'm fine. I'm healthy. But uh, better safe than sorry." So we we learn immediately that, that he's fine. It, no, is it? <laughs> so I, it I would have said no. I would be so pissed. Look, if I'm out there playing Survivor. If I'm having like a, 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 unless you can tell me you're having a fucking stroke, then keep me in the fucking game. Yeah. Anything I'll, I'll, other than a 12 hour erection, because I've read <laughs> on, on the Bluetooth packaging that you're supposed to call someone. Other than that, <laughs> I'm staying in the game. But yeah, we go, uh, we, we go now. Are, are we at the immunity challenge time here, Johnny? Uh, yes, it is reward and immunity. Yes, sir. yeah. I just I don't I don't know if the U.S. is more litigious as well because I know like I know why the Amazing Race can never film in the U.S. because you can't get public liability insurance. Mm. So I, I don't I don't know if this is like a U.S. specific well, thing but, where but it's our just contracts say you 
our contracts say you will yes, die. So do ours. Yeah, in correct. The you waive all liability like, and oh. rights unless it's like extreme negligence, you know? So, mm -hmm. like, you know, so it, it is, it, I, I, I actually feel really bad for him, you know? I do too. I, I, I just think with Australian Survivor, it's not as, it's not as, oh, we're going to do safety first and take you out. Like, yeah. if, 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 if it was up to, you know, like, then, then I don't get back in the game, you know? Yeah. Exactly. I made a choice to go back in. Everyone was comfortable with that, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, we're at an immunity challenge and reward. The reward is for a toolkit and a tarp. And second place gets a smaller toolkit and a tarp. And, uh, yeah, uh, Dan, can you explain kind of like what the challenge is all about? Yeah, they jump off a platoon, have to go out to a roller, get everyone up over the roller. Then once you're over the roller, you're climbing out in or going up over a net. Once you get to the net, you're going back to shore, digging for those sandbags, and then you have to land five sandbags up on those discs. And as George said, this is a an easy challenge. This is an the, easy challenge. Come on. This is yeah, ridiculous. The, the, the sandbags the point, are heavy. It's not hard to underhand toss sandbags it, up onto little platforms. The hardest thing was getting over a wheel, and please, that's not that hard, you know? No. no. That, no. that could have been like a, a, a 10 foot tall wall with a wheel on top. Is that yeah. Doug? Oh, it is Douglas. Yeah. Oh, He's been in my lap the whole time. I haven't been scratching God. my um, my groin. I've just been patting him, but then he climbed into my lap. Yeah. Okay. Uh, All right. Well, yeah. uh, but do you know what I like about US challenge design? They're very fair and even. Like, it should be the random tribe wins every time. Okay, well, because it happens. However, Yanu loses again because Charlie <laughs> uh, calls to the, the goddess that is Taylor Swift to help him beat Q. Oh, and uh, there, there's going to be a journey. The people are Liz, Ben, and Banu. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but while they're on this journey, uh, there, there is worry that Banu can't, can't keep, keep his mouth shut. But Q informs us that back in the day, he had the chance to win the big game. And the headline read, Burdett Fumbles was the headline. And I'm like, wow, it must have been a really slow news day. If that <laughs> <was the headline>. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, <laughs> you're, you're, you're made. I mean, like, there was not like Saddam Hussein was not doing something, or, or like their, their Queen Elizabeth didn't die, or yeah, the, really, the, like, the main even, newspaper, even, even my dog's laughing. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> that was the headline that day. Wow, I, the, uh, what, what small town in which they have to shame a high school school students <laughs> Dude, I hear you. Uh, Burdett fumbles possibly ruined scholarship opportunity more to come next next step next issue <laughs> <Dear me. laughs> I mean come on stop it that was not the headline that was, that was the was headline not. on Facebook Yes. Yeah. So it's like if you're if that scarred you for twenty years, wait until you see what the Survivor fans say about oh, me. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> uh, Q, welcome to Reddit, sir. You are you're gonna. I'm banned from there. Uh, <laughs> feel free to say whatever you want about me. I can't defend myself. But <laughs> so, but you can defend yourself if you come face to face at any of our viewing parties. Definitely. At, uh, yeah. SurvivorTix.com, and we'll say good things about you, and we will not talk about any of your fumbles in high school. That no one cares about but you 20 years later. All right. Uh, yes. So uh, Q says, vote me out for not getting the last bag. And I'm just like, does this guy want to quit? Oh, I don't feel like that plan was real. I know what I, yeah. I feel like he wanted, like, I feel yeah, like, I don't, I don't think he wanted to quit. I, don't I think, think, I think it was a moment of weakness. Yeah, yeah, I think it was like he felt bad, so he was like trying to. I think he uh, felt like he wanted to himself. eat, and he thought Survivor was going to be fake, and it wasn't. I, <laughs> I, I also, I also get this feeling from a lot of like the Survivors on screen is like, I feel like they're like hamming it up a lot this season. Like they're very oh. aware that they're getting filmed, oh, God, not in confessionals. I, I, it's, it's like who, who's hamming it up. 
Well, just Q like right Q, the Q, the way he talks and like he has zero energy when he talks. <laughs> Are you <laughs> kidding me? No, but just no the words that he's if saying. I would, if I'd sack that producer, it's like, what are you getting out of him? I'd, I'd be going, <laughs> yeah, well, sorry, darling, can you say it one more time? But this time, have some life in your voice. He, uh, I, I will, I, I do agree with you, George, that. Q is bland and monotone. <laughs> Shots his, fired his, on Q by George. In, in his and delivery, I'll say to his face if he's one of the cousins that they are. Well, Q, Q like, I suggest you. I, I suggest you go <laughs> VIP because VIP will sell out. Go to SurvivorTix.com. <laughs> but the <laughs> one thing, the one thing I will well, say, I want him there for the meet and greet, so he really gets the opportunity to express <laughs> exactly how he feels. But I, and, I do feel and, that Q it's is a fine poster. I do feel he's trying to play the game. He's not winning, fashion. right? There's no way Q's Hell winning. Hell no, he's not no, winning. No. So, well, he's Q not needs, winning. Q, this is a win for you. Go to SurvivorTix.com. Pick the city that's closest. And we have you a sign poster okay. when you I, go I'll, VIP. I'll, I'll say something controversial. Do you know why someone like Q works on Australian Survivor? Because they watched the first episode after they, saw the, they got the yes call. And then that... That character archetype gets interesting. Unfortunately for Q, he's probably seen every episode of Survivor twice. And yes, he's trying to do stuff, which is good. But the other part of it is sleep inducing. Yeah, like, right. yeah. And like and he looks, he I would say he's the most attractive person on this cast, aside from maybe Venus. You know, it's him and Venus. They're the two hotties on the cast. Um, Venus has a personality. I'm, I'm going Venus. Q's seem to get I'm lost. I'm a Kenzie world. guy. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, Dan's, Dan's a Kenzie guy. You go for that. Yeah. I'm not Dan, the Dan's a Kenzie there, guy. Like, yeah. Matt, Matt's a Charlie guy. No, Venus <laughs> rhymes with Venus. <laughs> Venus <laughs> rhymes with I, Venus. You do not, mm. do not make me. Maybe show. that's why I'm on the Venus page. That's why you are, George. The DMs. <laughs> George likes Venus because Venus rhymes with penis. The new <laughs> rap song here available soon. <laughs> Venus is my winner pick, <laughs> along with King George. So I, I am thrilled at that, I, Venus. I hope you go deep. If you're if you're listening to this, I, I, we love you. You you are like when I said earlier that I like you. I like that he's at least attempting to make some gameplay, but he is mm. very fucking bland. Mm. But there's I, not I actually, really. Go ahead. So I, uh, and not to dump on Q, I think he's actually read it wrong when he's like, Bond to keep him here because he's loyal and get rid of Kenzie. Kenzie's actually smart, and the three of you could play a powerful game, you know, through a merge if, you know, keep it, the three of you together. Whereas Bantu could like have a breakdown and flip, like he could get convinced to flip one way or another. By a lot of different you people. can't work with Banu. Banu, no, Banu, Banu, Banu that, proves that, he's that, one of the worst players of all time. Yeah, However, right. he's great like, TV. I, like bro, like like Q being like, oh, we should keep him because he's loyal. He's like, he's actually it's actually stupid. You want to keep smart players at this point and get Log work. I, I, I go logic first, always. A, a lo logic over emotion all day long. The the, un the only benefit of Banu. Like having had to live through playing with a great dear friend of mine in Stevie, but it's exhausting because you spend most of your limited time explaining things over and over and over and over again. Um, but a really good person, and I'm sure Barney falls in that category. I would say, given that it's only 26 days, it might be worth the time and the investment. Yeah, right, yeah. right. Yeah, but trying to do that for 40 plus days when you really mm -hmm. start getting tired and exhausted, that's a different kind of prospect. Yeah. Are, are you yeah. wowed by the glasses, George? I definitely am, yeah. <laughs> Can you believe that? <laughs> when we all went, all this? We, 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 we went on Amazon and we were like, we want to be Stevie. God, it's fantastic. I saw Stevie <laughs> last Friday night. We're, He's a great guy. He truly I know. George, George went to a viewing party only because Stevie was there. And I'm just like, oh my God, why didn't Stevie come to our parties? We, oh, we he's on a TV. farm or something. Do you know what happens if he's on farmer once a wife? Wouldn't that be hilarious? Oh, it, God, that it, yeah, he's <laughs> he's doing a viewing party uh, next week because he's finally back from three months away on the farm. Don't worry, I follow him on social media. I have not since yeah. heard. I uh, get yeah. I get first notifications whenever Stevie posts. I Thanks. love him. 
Thanks, Stevie, for doing a free viewing party. Right. Well, <laughs> well, well, Banu asks for a sign from God and uh, also needs a hug and spills all the tea for everyone and says that Kenzie is the brains. And I'm watching, I'm watching Banu right here, and, and, and I watch, I'm watching the breakdown, and it's just like, they're like, is he acting? And I'm like, he's no Raymond. He's no son of Johnny Fairplay. <laughs> <laughs> he, is, he is emotional because he's a fool and he literally tells them that he's a fool he does <laughs> you know what I feel like the fool thing really, really sold it yeah and he tells people he says I don't want to win the million dollars I want to win a million hearts hey and uh, a million hearts on three <laughs> one two three a million a hearts million. Uh -huh. All right, that just takes me to a Russian Eurovision song. <laughs> it was called but, A Million Voices. I know I probably shouldn't talk about it. Um, they, because, they also, you know, but like, yeah, I was just thinking, I was singing, think that blonde woman, it's 2015, it's in Austria, everyone's holding up gay flags. And then you've just got this Russian propagandist going, a million voices. I'm like, oh, oh is this like Winds of Change from from uh, the Scorpions? That was, George, that was a propaganda song. Listen to that. George has a voice of an angel. He does. Oh, it's great. It's fantastic. I George, love George, voice, twenty five dollars. I can do more. <laughs> <laughs> He's not talking about his cameo, folks. Okay. Um, now I'm scared. You're going to put like GoPros in the shower if I come to your house, man. No, I promise I won't. My wife might, but I won't. Uh, uh, George, <laughs> just know this: whenever you sit down to pee, put put your feet on the tape. Or we can't get we can't get good footage. <laughs> oh, there will be blue masking tape in my bathroom when George comes. Oh, <laughs> All right, well it's time to draw rocks, and I'm just like, please do not give Banu uh, a blue rock because I don't want this voyage to continue any longer than it does. Guess what? It's it. Banu gets a blue rock. It's time to build a build a cube out of rocks. And sometimes you can't listen to Van Halen for a week, but Johnny Fairplay can listen to Van Halen whenever he wants because oh, I yeah. have 5150, possibly the greatest Van Halen album of all time. But if I don't listen to that, I'm going with OU812 because I love real Van Halen. I That's love right. it. No, Ooh, 1984, I baby. got 1984. Oh. And I have the original Van Halen. I got them all, folks. I love. I'm with Ben on this one. I love some Van Halen. Yes, I'm, you I'm with Ben. I'm with Ben on Ben Hagar. <laughs> I, I'm with Ben on nothing else. I, I, ben I is worthless. Ben. Yeah, like his Van Halen reference was the only thing that was worthwhile of of Ben's existence on this. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and another Nicholas Cage reference, but he's oh. but once again he's only referencing John Travolta wearing Nicholas Cage's face. Yes. Yeah, I, yes. I think it, I think I think Ben's story it has been what it is because of the fact that the Green Tribe, I can't remember their name, I'll just go yeah. with JLP and call them the Green Tribe. Sega. Haven't Tiga. Sega. If you say so. Yes, or as JLP like, says, I feel like I feel like we're at your trivia night. But, uh, or as JLP says, the Green Tribe, because he can't even bother to learn blood and water. <laughs> it's like brains be brawn. Off go the Yellow Tribe, whichever yeah. one they. Have. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, right. it's like on the badge, but uh, <laughs> um, I, I I feel like he's got more to come. Uh, I, as as an audience member, I'm being told this is an important person to yes. the storyline. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't. Yeah. I, I, the pre stuff I saw with him, and I saw very limited. He's one of the few things I saw. I hated him. I was just like, oh, this is the big time. I don't want. I'm liking Ben. Yeah, mm -hmm. I feel like you'd get along with him in camp. Yeah, yeah. You know, he'd talk about his thing. I'd talk about Eurovision, and then I'd make sure there's no camera around because I wouldn't waste my time talking about that with another human and a camera on me. You know. Yeah, but, but like, you're making an alliance. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is you and Jerry. <laughs> yeah, but do you know what? I, I talk to Jerry all the time. You yeah. know, all the time. Yeah. Oh, shout out to Jerry for. Uh, oh, he bought a new crying. house, Johnny. Aren't you proud of him? 
I, do you guys see that house? Yeah. One good old, like, old spice. Yeah. I'm not. 1.9 <laughs> million, <just> two <laughs> pools, guest house. The, the guest house is already named after me, George. Is it actually? Yeah. What did they, what did they call it? The dead the, grandma. The, legend house. <laughs> so they, they, they had the two birds named after you. So so you go to Jerry's oh my God, current that is, place. He's I got love two, Jerry to he, beats. Yeah. Ooh. He's he's got he's got he's got he's got his number one bird George and he's got his number two bird Georgette. That's awesome. Uh, he but, feeds magpies. Yes, like the the, the magpies are named after George. <laughs> two of them, George and Georgette. But the guest house is named after me, the Legend House. That's great. I love it. <laughs> I hope these magpies move to his new house. I I I asked him. I would, he goes. Pam was like, we can get new ones. And I was just like, no, bring you them. Gotta capture them and then release them. Yes, they'll love it. They mm. love them so much. And their <laughs> name's George and Georgette. Oh, my God. I love yeah. Australia so much. I'm moving there, George. Oh, yeah, come, come. Don't don't tell Jessica. So we're no, she, she won't know a thing. We're drugging Just her. become a permanent resident. That's all you need to yes. do. Yes. All right. Well, uh, don't worry. Uh, Banu spilled no tea. Oh, wait, he spilled all the tea. Kenzie's running the show, everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In case you're wondering. <laughs> and uh, and Ben makes a good play here. He says, uh, hey, I did the deal, and it was like one of those weird deals where I won't know the outcome until tribal. Smart gameplay. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, of your options, when you come back, you can either say, I got, I got nothing, I lost my vote. I got an advantage or I don't know. I feel like I don't know if you're Ben, if you're, if you're George or Johnny fair play, that might, that, not that means you've got it. Correct. I, I, yeah. I agree with you completely fair play, but if you're Ben, it's just like, all right, I feel like, Oh, <laughs> this guy, why this guy's giving yes. shout outs. <laughs> right. Stevie shout out. <laughs> Woo. Damn. I need some of those classes. I, is that the Eden? I know. Yeah. It's yeah, <laughs> Eden. We'll see you in a few minutes, but we're uh, we're we're not allowed to talk about that till tomorrow morning because uh, <laughs> you don't have clearance. <laughs> Eden, you want to jump on real quick? <laughs> this doesn't count, right? <laughs> he might get in trouble. He might play again. I know. Uh, oh, Eden's playing again. Come on, he's he's playing with uh, on uh, which Simon's eighth eighth opportunity. It'd be great. Can't wait. All right. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what you're saying. All right. Uh, where are we at? Oh, Banu tells uh, Q he lost his vote because, of course, he has to be honest. Banu is a liability that will be Q's asset. I'm like, I don't think so. And Tiffany's just like, yeah, I don't think so either. It should be Banu. But wait, Jeff shows up at the beach with Dr. Will. And it's not Dr. Will from Big Brother so because he's he's much more tan. So that's the first clue. Mm. And it turns out it's a bulging disc in the neck. Possibly. We don't know. We're pulling you from the game. All right. I don't think we've had, we have had, had a complete roundtable discussion on this. I mm. would not leave. If, if this is the situation proposed. I would, I would not leave under any circumstances. Yeah. Me, me neither. Yeah. And, 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 yeah. and do we, do we know if this is a potential option? I think it's a bit different in Australia, but I, I, it's kind of like I, I feel like the US is a bit more litigious, so maybe they're okay. a bit more conservative. Okay, so if well, if it's Australia, you guys are checking it, finding out it's fine. He comes back. Yes. Well, correct, but that's for the most significant of injuries. You're all, just like Jeff also said, we get like med checks all the time. Yeah. Um, mm. like before and, and after a challenge. Well, yeah. yeah. So that's like. That's, That's kind real. of like common knowledge, and you you get you get great care. So I thought it was very interesting they left in the the story of the edit. We thought it was this at first, and it's fine. And now, you know, I got further advice from a colleague in the US, and she thought it was this, and that's why we're taking you out. So I like how they yeah. put that in there, um, yeah. rather than you know I don't usually say naughty things, but rather than they made it look like Jackie and I had a drinks break. Um, mm. So I, I, I like that aspect of well, it. Well, you, you got baptized back into the game, George. 
Yeah, that was good. Yeah, lucky, lucky I come up. <laughs> Matt hasn't seen this yet. George, yeah. George, George leaves the game and is, and is baptized back in. And oh. don't worry, uh, our good friend Jordy, who you haven't seen yet, loves it. <laughs> oh, I love it, dude. <laughs> it's, 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 it's like who? <laughs> who are all these amazing people you're talking about? They're really dynamic characters. One's the Joker. He, he reminds he, you he, often. So he lets you know quite a few times. Yes, yes. He he may have served our nation's military, or he's the Joker. It, it, no, he's the Joker. Never mind. Okay, oh, so uh, yes, so um, yeah. I I, I, I would. Tough, I think it's a tough one. I think if you're telling me they showed a bit where there was nothing wrong with him, I think that's a that's pulling him out too quickly. Like I, if, I, it if, is. If, I can understand if there was no way to get an MRI. I don't know where they film in Fiji. I'm we don't do that. We don't do the 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 pull for for. Just more take him out. Nothing's happening at night. If you got the connection at a hospital to get the they scan, they don't. They don't do that. Do the scan. They, put they it back only in the they, game if there's nothing wrong. You know. To me, they, this is a way to save Banu because he is good TV. And they use that as an excuse. What you're random... saying, Banu is better TV than Random? Random was <laughs> nothing be besides him and Venus's interaction on episode two. Random was no one to me. Listen, and they, <laughs> they fucking they wanted to keep Banu, so they did this instead. In my opinion, okay. <laughs> well, it was like I'm you just... know when they say Ben on on the like it's when they did the fire challenge time, for man. Ben. Yeah. Yeah. They saved him because of that. They saved Banu over this evacuation. It pisses me off. I watched a whole episode of Survivor. Just to watch part, random which get Which is pulled. tribal council. For and, no and reason. <laughs> yes, it's, it's unbelievably bullshit. I Look, fucking I'm, hated this episode. This, I, I'm saying not, it now, but I just hated it. Yeah, the Survivor we, we should have it. We have not had George. the two strongest episodes back to back, have we? No, <laughs> we're working our way up. You know what he's going to be hot now? Doing hot in, in Los Angeles at Jackson's Bar is going to be the greatest Correct. episode. Now viewing the party is going to be really better. hot. It'll yeah. be the best season it can, ever at those yes. parties. It can only go up from here, so like it's that's down. the good news. I, yeah. I, I would, I would, I wish Survivor from now on had like a a thing at the beginning that said like no one's actually voted out this episode. Like if someone quits. <laughs> Or medically evacuated. We don't know how it happens, but they just say there's no actual voting this episode. Just, just so Matt doesn't get so mad about not seeing somebody put it out. No. We wouldn't get Matt to show Matt, on the Matt, podcast if you did that. Matt says he's mad, but he loves he hates tribal council. This is actually Matt's favorite episode in four years. Matt likes <laughs> going over, under, up and down, and then a puzzle. That's his favorite I, part. I, I tell you what, I hate quitters. So last season I was. I was despised quitting this episode i despise not having a tribal but i love doing the podcast because king george is here thank you okay. george all right thank well you. well I venus is only in person <laughs> i can't will. wait to have you You're at ready. my house dude yeah. literally well, it's gonna be the highlight this that is sounds no... like a threat <laughs> no dude i i just like i've only watched that's into first pegging season. george are you I'm not into pegging, but I, I watched King George on the first season we covered on our Patreon, right? And I love George is intrigued. King George. Yeah, I, my wife has never watched you. I'm gonna have her. Uh, I, 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 I thought you were gonna say my wife has never pegged me. <laughs> no, I, I no, that, that's not true. He hasn't denied it yet. He hasn't denied it yet. I was just waiting for the. I've never tried pegging. But I'm but listen, I've had, <laughs> no, I I've, listen, George. You love I've it. had royalty at my house. I've had Big Tom. I've had Johnny Fairplay. I've had Lex Vandenberg. I've had Sandra Diaz Twine. I've had Johnny Fairplay. You've had uh, Sandra pick you among all those people. <laughs> I, yes. have, I have. I have. You're next, George. <laughs> but to have King George here Peg in my hometown is going to be great. It's going to be great. Uh, thanks, Matt. No, I can't wait. It's even if the show sucks, even if season 46 episode fucking some pussy ass motherfucker quits, I'll be he like, quit. King George is in town. All right. Anyway. So, all right. So, well, Venus's only friend is left with an advantage. So, does did Venus not know where the thing was? That, I was thinking that. I know. 
if oh, if wow. she knows where the box is, can she go up to the box, get the key when they go to tribal, whatever, you know, the clue to the key, and then get it herself without having lost a vote? Yeah. I mean, I would like to know about Venus's box. And also yeah, just... Um, why aren't I'm they sure just smashing, <laughs> Why are they not just smashing the box open? Yeah, exactly. We yeah. Yeah. So on, a, on a, an Australian they... survivor map, the... we, we had the box. They just they just uh, Mark just smashed it. Just, That's like, what you should do. Job done. But like, unless this look, I know, like I have no, you know, maybe they didn't think about it. But it's like unless the paper says you can't smash open the box. It doesn't. There's no it, fine and print. Then apologize later. You know, yeah, like right, right. it fell out. Mm -hmm. It All fell right. out well... when I was trying to like listen to the box as I was smashing it on a rock, you know? Yes. Well, well guess what? Back on the other try, Banu is crying, but don't worry, Jeff is here. Random was pulled, and Banu's prayers to Macedonian Jesus were answered. <laughs> and I was like, well, thank goodness King George is here to, to, to clue us in on how that works. Can so I do just... prayers to Macedonian Jesus work in, 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 in U.S. Survivor as well, George? Definitely. Who was he playing to? His guru. It was Guru is Jeff, yeah. But he was praying to Macedonian Jesus. I, 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 I edited I, scene. I <laughs> maybe. <laughs> um, I don't know. Would I have celebrated like he did? Maybe like internally. <laughs> it, it, mm -hmm. It's just like I'm so lucky. This person nearly had a fucked up neck. <laughs> <Yeah>. Like. <laughs> Cheers. Hey, well, don't worry. Next week on Survivor, Banu fucks up again. <laughs> so, is that, what you shall. Is that, that literally what, what it had? Said. They're like, we hate Bonu. We got to get rid of Bonu. Yes. <laughs> Everyone. Right, <laughs> so, so there we go. Yeah. Oh. Next week, Banu goes to do a poo and he walks across a box. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. Oh. How does that happen? <laughs> All right, uh, King George, I would say where can everyone find you at, but I know where we can find you at. We can find you starting March 27th in Los Angeles, California, and then the next week in Durham, North Carolina, and then the next week in Cincinnati, Ohio, and then the next mm -hmm. week in Charlottesville, Virginia, and then the next week in... Uh, Charlotte. Is it Charlotte or there's one more? There's oh, Charlotte. I think it's Charlotte. Okay. Yeah. So, Johnny, is... is, is he going to be George. You're going to be staying at Johnny's house in between viewing parties. So uh, I need to work question, out final logistics, but I'm open to ideas. What did you have in mind? Well, I don't know, but my question is, Johnny, how in the hell is Jessica going to be cool with King George, the she has no idea. Of survivor? No idea. Seven weeks in America, no mostly idea. staying at your house. No idea. Dude, um, I, George. I, 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 I don't think it'll be mostly maybe like um, I think when we're in the vicinity around those dates, because yeah. I, I can do like a little bit of travel in between. Yes. Um, I had a look at the World Series of Poker tour schedule and they've got events on in Chicago when we're in Chicago. So that is Macedonian Jesus answering my prayers, like yes. little, little fun tidbits like that. And then like, I, I haven't been to many parts of the U S I've only been to Florida twice and it was mainly at the Malia um at orlando um i had a day in new orleans um you know i've spent a few days in vegas loved boise idaho with gabler that was just honestly incredible mm -hmm. um that i i didn't cool. get that invite gabler i don't know yeah, you're watching you know what i wish you came would you have come we, we yeah. had the best time. oh my god i would have like, gabler is just such an interesting person he's, he's a like, fun guy the fact that he gets hated on is just ridiculous <laughs> like honestly He's just funny, <laughs> intelligent, likable, like highly capable heart surgeon, donates a million dollars to charity and everyone's like, you're the devil, you know, like, mm -hmm. but, um, and then LA. So it's just like, I, I, I'm in a different part of the U S I can see a few different parts of the country. Um, so I'm looking forward to the trip. Yeah. Well, we're, we're, like, we're, we're like it in, uh, May 15th. Uh, it looks like Myrtle beach, uh, is that going ahead? I didn't want to do a pre-announcement. It's it's looking if it's if it's not Myrtle Beach, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna put it out there tomorrow. It's it's open, but I I feel like Myrtle Beach is gonna be locked in uh, tomorrow morning, and uh, that one's fun. that one's gonna be it. That was gonna be a fun one. Well, I'm going to Virginia, North and South Carolina. Yeah, you know Ohio. I'm gonna be yeah. Going you, to trust Detroit, me, you you will have fun. Chicago. 
We're stopped by big here. moms on the way. We're stopped by Tanya's. Where did oh, they live? Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, so big, Tom, big Tom is in uh, Chill Howie, Virginia. He's got he's got a big cattle farm. Oh. So we're, we're, going, we're going to we're going we're going to uh, to his his cabin, and then uh, Tanya she lives in uh, Bluntville, Tennessee. So oh, we're going to do that. Yeah. We're going to do that in between um, my house and, and Matt's. Fun. We will have a good Wait, time. Is, trust me, George. Is, is Cincinnati driving distance from where you are, Fair Play? Yeah, we're driving. Oh, fun! Oh, that's good. Yeah, we're 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 driving three hours to Big Tom's. Yeah, and then we're driving another hour to Tanya's. And then we're waking yeah. up early in the morning, and we're going to uh to to uh, to see Matt and Wayne. Uh, it's a five hour drive to Matt and Wayne from there. Okay, that's beauty. Easy. Oh, great! That sounds fun. Can I drive? Please. Yeah. <laughs> as long as i can listen to dateline podcast i'm good uh plug for dateline uh datelines podcast and and true crime obsessed <laughs> so there you oh go. god that's, so that's, what, oh, I listen that's cool. what i'm gonna listen to this all right i should talk to you offline about more logistics <laughs> oh yeah no we we Dude, we we have we have so much fun stuff. Oh, that planned. looks good. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're, no, that'll you're gonna work. love it, dude. And you're oh, and, and uh, LA, I think Lex is coming. Cool. Oh hell yeah! How crazy is that? So, That's and crazy. Lex is trying to get to Virginia before you leave. Good. So, hell yeah. So, yeah. so it's nuts. It's nuts. It's so crazy. So uh, anyway, so King George, where can everybody find you on social media? At King George of Banks down on Instagram and at King George two two o o on Twitter X. There you that. go. Yes. Also right. at Jax's Lounge and Bar on the twenty seventh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and uh, make sure you guys do the. Uh, there, there's VIP available. There's there's VIP tables available. That's separate, and you get you get free cores light. I would do that. Uh, check that out at. Uh, it is uh, events at jaxsbar.com. That's events at J A X S B A R.com and uh, survivortix.com for everything else. Uh, Wayne Mehmet, where can everybody find you, brother? Check me out at Wayne Mehmet on Instagram. I got shows in Cincinnati and around the Midwest. So I have some videos coming up and, you know, catch me doing stand up. And uh, you can check out Bombs Away Comedy if you're in Cincinnati and come see a show. We got shows every Saturday at the Comet. Speaking of the Comet, come have a burrito. I'm the manager there. So if you want to catch me and say what's up, come to the Comet. I'm usually there. George, do we need to watch some stand-up comedy with Wayne Mehmet while we're in Cincinnati? Oh, yeah, why not? Yeah, I'm down for it. I just want to have a good time. Oh, well, you know, Wayne, a, Wayne, a, Wayne's not here for a good time, well. but a long yeah. time. Mm. Yeah. All right. Dan Moncho, where can we find you, brother? Uh, Monchi04. All right. And I will find you uh, for the next podcast with Eden. That's right, Eden Porter from this season of Survivor, Australian Survivor, Titans v. Rebels. We're recording tonight, but we're not airing it till tomorrow because we need permission to make sure we don't say anything bad because Please Eden follow loves- the rules. No, no. It's always with a like a, a good thing about what 10 do. It all happens for a reason. So, Johnny, yep. I'm glad that you're a good boy. It's- I am a good boy. So, follow and- the rules. Make good shit happen. Yeah. And Matt Bischoff, where can everybody find you? Uh, at the pegging king.com. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, just at the Matt Bischoff. And, Is that uh, a pay site? For 10 US dollars a week, you can go on his OF.com. Yes. Uh, the, 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 and uh, watch what? him get pegged by Sandra and Big Tom. Oh, there's- oh wow! I would pay ten dollars a month uh, to, know, I would to, pay $10 to for support that. it. I wouldn't watch it. I would just pay it just to let it happen. Yeah. Just so that they're encouraged <laughs> in the to universe continue that journey. Uh, I'm like, yeah, you get ten dollars, hundred twenty bucks a year for sure. Live your best life. That can I prepay? <laughs> Uh, uh, again, yeah. you you all motherfuckers are idiots, but I, I love yeah, it's you all. Join the Patreon. <laughs> join yeah. the Patreon. Yeah, go to That's realitypatron.com. That's reality p a t r o n dot com. You might not get might not get to see Matt Bischoff get pegged, but you do get links to Australian Survivor, and you also get, you get links, links to watch Matt Bischoff get pegged. You might take that uh, out of the Channel Ten thing. <laughs> I, I'm okay, Channel Ten, don't start watching now. Don't Paramount watch now. Plus AU. <laughs> Give yeah, them yeah. your money. 
<laughs> it's a different one. So we're, we're, I'm not mentioning that next <laughs> next podcast. So, but uh, yeah, go to realitypatron.com, get links and uh, our weekly Q and A. I just had my 50th birthday. Wendell joined us for the birthday celebration. Oh, it was okay. crazy. Fun. It was wild. It was so much fun. And uh, yeah, until next time. We love you, everyone. Uh, I'm at Johnny Fairplay on everything. No H and Johnny. J-O-N-N-Y. P-F-A-I-R-P-L-A-Y. Go to JohnnyFairplay.com for links to everything. Get a, get a cameo. Do all those things. But most importantly, go to SurvivorTix.com. My birthday wish is for everyone on the planet to buy a ticket. I don't care if you come or not. Buy a ticket. SurvivorTix.com. <laughs> SurvivorTix.com. <laughs> Even better if you don't. It's really much easier. <laughs> SurvivorTix.com. And you get this poster. How cool is this? Me and Jordan. Uh, getting yes. yeah. I need one of those in my background. And we will see you next week for hopefully a better episode of Survivor Season 46. Cheers, everyone. We love you all, and good night. Bam. <laughs>